what Nigerian railway will do to foreign ex-men in Nigeria. The federal government insisted to build a railway from Nigeria to Niger has again been described as a waste of resources with the intention to aid the influx of foreign elders and potential voters who would come in to vote in Nigeria during general elections. The member representing Riyom Baki, Lady Federal Constituency in the National Assembly, Mr. Simon, alleged this while speaking with journalists in Joss. Mr. Simon, whose constituency has been under President Modibuari's attack by people suspected to be of the Fulani ethnic groups, questioned the oppression of the federal government in building the railway, as well as getting the rejected water bill passed into law and stressed and stressed their sinister move and motive behind such moves. He lamented many Nigerians are uncared for in the different international displayed pressing camp and many Nigerian cities have not even been linked by rail, but the federal government is putting every yoke of foreign loans to build rails into a desert. According to him, I think that that is the truth. The rail is going to aid the movement of foreign elders into Nigeria. I listened to Gaba Shew trying to defend the federal government's initiative of the rail construction. This is going to be constructed with money that is borrowed. So, so each of us is going to pay for that because it is taxable money that is going to be used to repay the loan they have not contracted us as to why that should be done you recall during the 2019 elections nigerians they came to nigeria and they say that they came in solidarity to make such that president Buhari wins an election in Nigeria, which was a terrible thing. I asked a question when INEC was dis dis addressing us at his station hotel. It was so rowdy that I had to exchange words with the governor of the on the issue. I asked if our sovereignty has not been tampered with, that if we will have a sovereign country coming in thousands on solidarity with the person we are going to elect as gov as president we are now saying that nigerians are going to make sure that put uh, that they put a president for nigeria or it is it going to be a president that would be elected by nigerians the railway thing is to continue the aspect of bringing foreigners into nigeria to come and vote some people have urged and argued that it has, it has to do the trade, that it is going to boost our economy. But if you look at trade between Nigeria and the Benin Republic, the volume of trade between us, even to Togo, is higher, is more than 100 times higher than the volume of trade between Nigeria and Niger. Trade does not explain it. You just build a rail from here to a desert. For who? Nigerian cities have not been linked by rail. So what is the economic importance or even the socio-cultural importance of that rail from Nigeria to Niger? Somebody will come on here and tell us that it is to the border town, Maradi. Maradi is in the center of Niger from Christ's sake. Gabashew was trying to say that was it that Niger, Niger had also built a rail towards Nigeria and there is a meeting point. That is not the case. 
it is completely a Nigerian thing and I see it as a waste. Speaking on the rejected water bill, he added, why does the federal government want to take over the control of such places? People have come out to say that they had the head from the grapevine that he wants to take the waterways so that these foreign Fulanis that are flooding into this country can come and settle there and of course it has a political undertone. This bill was a time bomb that is capable of throwing this country to war but I think that the House of Representatives have done its best. We have taken our decision and the bill has been thrown out and it has dust some tensions. It can never come again, but the rules of the House in this assembly, perhaps in the 10th assembly, and if we are alive and are there in the 10th assembly, we will still do the needful to make sure that this bill does not succeed. The House has rejected this bill and if Mr. Speaker wants it to be reintroduced then it means that he is under pressure from somewhere but i am telling you the bill is dead i don't know what portion they want to amend there is a constitutional lacuna there the constitutional provision is that land anywhere in this country is not in the preview of the federal government so what are they going to amend it is is it that we are going to amend that section of the constitution that talks about who owns the land before it reintroduced that bill or is it going to be reintroduced but not under the control of the federal government but the state governments get this very well the expense of land that the bill is about either six or eight kilometers away from the waterways there will be no house no farming activities nothing nothing so supposing i am a river line person and my house is by the river bank are they going to take me away and resettle me somewhere else how would my means of livelihood be that bill is capable of bringing war into this country. Thank you, my viewers, for listening to this news. Hmm. Buhari has shown who is trying. Buhari is a failed. In short, is 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 a is a disappointing. Is is so disappointing. That President Modibuari has really done things that we never expected. Imagine borrowing money to build railways in Nigeria when we have enough money to do that before. Before when Bulo Jonathan left the office. Only God knows what the money is being used for. Jonathan was asking President Modibuari then that where is, is I should make account of how the money he left behind been been uh, been used. But the motor was unable to give account. That means that the money has been used by him and his cabals. This is no fair. Maltreating uh, a Nigerian citizen as if they are animals. Imagine our president is very wicked. He's a wicked being. And he does not even hide his wickedness. He does it openly. He does it openly without even apologizing. Imagine, I pray that God will save Nigerians from his hand of wickedness. The people that, are, that keep supporting him or that keep talking good about him should continue to do that. I know one day, God in his infinite mercy will put a stop to, his, to all this wickedness of his. Nigeria will not be at peace.
and Nigeria was going to be come back to the way it was before during Gulag Jonathan's administration. So, viewers, what is your take on this news that you just heard? Your comments concerning this news will be very much appreciated. If you can drop them below the comment box, click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates whenever I publish any new videos. Thank you.